Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Timberborn. We're going to try to see if we can get some things done today. See what we got. So, we have... Okay, so we are in uh, still in the middle of the dry cycle. So, what we got going is we've got... Okay, so we've got our water here. So, I think before we do anything else... Um, I do have logs. Yes, the log storage is full. We have a handful of trees down there waiting to be cut. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dismantle all of these water wheels. And we're going to get these out of here and we're going to replace them with levee blocks. Now, we're going to go ahead and replace them with just the three, uh, the three water wheels once we get it built back up. But for right now, we just want to... We just want to get this get this going so we can put them back in here, and we are going to bring it back up. Oh, there's a there's a stupid tree in there, isn't there? Oh, I hate that. Okay, let me let me switch over here to this one. Let me remove that tree because I'm going to need that tree out of there here pretty quick. All right, I hate when they do when that always that one little tree. I always forget to remove it. Okay, so we're going to let that run for a minute. How is our trees? Okay, so we're starting to get resin already, huh? Excellent. Let's see. Which one is the resin over here in the screen? Hold on. Y'all going to make me pause this, aren't you? Okay, that's chestnuts. That's gears. That is the pine resin right there. Okay, so it's the little tree, tree leaf, whatever you want to call that symbol. All right, so we got that going. I've got stuff over there. We're looking good. We're looking good here. Now, I'm trying to see. I've been reading a bunch of comments here lately, guys, and I know sometimes I get to them. Uh, I get to them. Usually what happens is I post a video and I start recording like right after I post the video and y'all comment. So usually there's like a day or two gap in between when I can on screen address or change stuff. And I'm trying to figure out, I had a comment the other day about a water pump that I needed to get rid of. And I don't see a water pump. I think, I think I must have already got them. Okay, I bet you I've already removed them. I was just making sure we didn't have one hid back here or something that I forgot that we had. So I think all of our water pumps are good now. Okay. So I think that's good. How are we doing on this down here? They are, they're working. They're getting it a little bit closer. Yeah, I think we're going to end up putting a tree farm in here for just a few, just a few minutes, just to, you know, just to get just to get some extra wood over here. I'd like to build a second log pile and get both of them full. That way I have closer to 300 logs so that if I do do a project, it's like instantly supplied and done and I don't have to worry about a whole lot of stuff. Okay, I'm not seeing them beavers over here y'all still haven't got that log out why are you coming to get it now now well they're probably building first okay so the beavers are coming over here so they can reach it so that's good that's fine yeah they're going to build those logs first or not build those logs build those levees first Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we've got our little scrap dude down here. He's doing some collecting. He's getting some scrap pulled out. I think what I'm going to do next is... Let me go ahead and add in a lumberjack right here. We'll go ahead and increase that priority, get him built. We're just going to get rid of the handful of trees right here. I don't think we really necessarily need them, but we're going to do it. We're just going to get them cut down. 
So, there's a couple chestnuts in there. I think that one's a maple, yeah. So, we'll get that cut down. And then... Trying to think if we want to... Uh, I need to store... Well, we need to start getting stuff situated down here. So, if we're going to start operating a mine, I'm going to need a storage down here and several other things. I'm kind of thinking maybe... If we do that, we can come down here with a bigger storage. Oh, that's going to be right over the top of that, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Let's not put it right there. That would be that'd be a waste. Um, I could put it right here. Yeah, you know what? Let me let me put it right here because I don't think we're gonna need. Even if we do need something, I can build on top of it, so that's not too big of a deal. So yeah, let me let's let's let that lumberjack cut these two trees down, and we'll go from there. Oh, yeah. 20 logs right there. Alright, did they get it? Finally? No, they... That tree is still not being got. Are you coming for the tree? I hope you're coming for the tree. Come on. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, are you working or are you just kind of floating down there? Like, what are you doing, Beaver? What are you doing? And then we're going to go ahead and delete these because we're going to raise that back up as well. Alright, so we got a whole big to-do right here. Alright, we'll see what happens. Alright, how are we doing down here? We, we are almost sealed up. Excellent. Which means now we have a chance to let that dry out because our wall is going to separate the water. Which means one new tree farm can be placed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let me see down here. What do we got? We've got a bunch of wheat. So, how are we doing on the wheat production? Are we... We've got a couple hundred flour... Do I ha I don't have a bakery yet though, do I? No, okay. So we need to build a bakery next after we build this. And I'm kind of thinking we might build the bakery back here somewhere cuz I don't really want it over here cuz I'm thinking about adding in another grist mill and we might end up having to power it with more beavers. But that's a big big uh plank project right there. And I'm not trying to do too big of a plank project. I know we're going to end up with a plank deal, but, you know. I'm going to see if we can't fit it in somewhere else. Maybe maybe over here. Yeah, we can fit it in over here. Just put that bad boy right there. Grab that bakery. And then, boom. One bakery down. And we will set you to bread. Okay, so they'll do that as soon as this over here gets finished.
Okay, y'all get the last couple of logs out of this. All right, well, while they're doing that, is there anything we can do over here at the other district? Um, we've got two deals there. I don't know if I should leave these or do something else with them. I really wish you could grow crops underneath the uh, the three tall the three tall um, platforms. I really think that they should allow that to be a thing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I kind of want to do. kind of want to do a carrot crop over here more of a carrot crop i mean we have a small carrot crop but do more of a carrot crop so that we have extra stuff because right now we've got yeah we got 700 carrots but i mean if the population if we ever increase the population and put like the baby vats over here we're going to end up with you know a lot a lot of food issues might even do a potato farm. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, it's not even gonna it's not even gonna show me because I don't have a connection down there. Yeah, that figures. That would figure. Yeah, that's just going to do that. That would let me have a little bit more. Hmm. I could do that. If I did that, I could technically do potatoes, too. If we did potatoes, we could have a nice little farm. You know what? I'm going to do this and I'm going to do some potatoes down here. I'm going to see if that might help expand the amount of... Uh... Of carrots that we got if we supplement in potatoes as well. And I can put in a bakery right up here. Or not a bakery. A, a put in a grill... So that I can utilize the platforms that are already here. Yeah, let's do that. There's no, there's no trees down here, is there? Oh, okay. So this guy is useless, so he can go away. And then I am going to build a large warehouse right there. Awesome. And then what I think we'll do is... Hold on, that's not high enough, is it? Um, it would cost a little bit more, but I could. So I'm trying to think of a way to double stack a, uh, a storage over here. That way we have an extra storage spot right here. And I'm thinking maybe, I mean, if I bring it up from here... Yeah, that'd probably be easier than bringing it from down. What I'd have to do is delete that guy. Raise the priority of that.
run that down. And then here we go with the big with the big plank projects again. Gotta love it. Got to love it. But alright, that'll give us a double stack storage so that we have a little bit extra over here. So that's fine. That'll help us out when we get the potatoes and we get the mine going and all that kind of stuff. So we'll need we'll need a good bit of storage over here. I might even put in a third storage before it's all said and done. How far along are we? Oh, we're still... Yeah, they're still under the water on that one. Okay. Well, we've got 5.8 days left in the drought before it kicks back up. And then once it kicks back up, we'll start churning out some more... Uh, some more flour. Getting that going. We've got our little potato farm over here set up. We've got... Our grill ready to get built. We've got storages ready to get built. So we've got stuff over there. Now. I don't know. I kind of want to just leave District 1 alone. If it's, you know, it's not doing too bad. I mean, we are getting a bunch of babies. But I am using those to supplement over here right now. So that's not, that's not so bad. We've only got, we've got two people. Do I have baby pods over here? I don't have any, right? Yeah, I didn't think I did. Yep, did not think I did. Okay. Well, we'll just let it keep on going. Let it finish up its stuff here. Let that go. Are we... We are sealed. Okay, so that's good here. Let me go ahead, come back in, and... We'll go ahead and delete that. Delete this. And we'll just kind of hold off right here. Trying to see what would be the easiest and best way to do this. I'm kind of thinking if we came back over here and just did like that. And then we built a forester. Yeah, build a forester right there. Build that like so. And then we will put in... Two lumberjacks right there. Okay, and that should take care of it, and we'll worry about it being unflooded later. So the water will will drain. It shouldn't take too long to evaporate that. So yeah, we're already well. I say that we're at half a block, but we're a block deep over here, so we're a block and a half deep here. Half a block here. So yeah, it might take a minute. I don't know if I want to build a pump though. Building a pump would speed it up. But I don't know if that would... I don't know. I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a waste of resources. I wish they had like a mobile pump. Like beavers that like pulled a little cart with them. That could, you know, pump. It'd be a little bit slower. But they could, you know, set up like a, you know, a, a sump pump type thing. And just pump straight over a wall. Of course, that might uh, might do away with the other big mechanical pump, but, you know, it'd still probably be nice. The beavers could do things. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. They're going to have that hole there, which means I'm going to have to build a platform out. Yep. We'll build a platform that way they can reach that middle. How are we doing over here? We've got 115 logs. We still got 100 uh, planks. Okay, so we're still good there.
3.9 days. We might get this built before the uh, the water comes back. Now, if we do, the question is, is that these dams right here, do I leave those or do I remove those? And if I remove them, do I need to rebuild them in the front? So I'll, that's... That's kind of that's kind of my thought process because I'm thinking that maybe if they were gone, the water would flow through. But then again, if it just barely flowed through at the bottom, would it be really like worth it? Would it? You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll play with things. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna try several different things here, and as we extend it out, because I do plan on extending it out further, I might put in some big quills just to see how the big quills act in here and do stuff. And you know, we'll swap things out and we'll change it up. We'll do we'll do some variations here. We'll see what happens. All right. So I am noticing that our beavers are not filling up our water deals very much here. So I think we probably need to get another pump going. So I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but I do think one more pump would be would be nice to have. There we go. We'll put that there. We'll let the beavers do their thing. All right, well, so far, we are looking good. Oh, I know what we could do over here. I need to put in some, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, uh, um, some rooftop terraces. That's what we need. We need some rooftop terraces trying to think of where best to put those things you know what we could come straight out over here like so and then I can just pop a couple of those down up here on these rooftops there we go They'll give them a couple rooftop terraces. That way they can have a little little bit more leisure. Make them a little bit happier, maybe. We'll see. How are we doing on our well-being, anyway? We're at eight? Yeah, we could probably raise that up. Get that raised up a little bit. Now, someone the other day was talking about I should build a, a beaver monument over here. Um, you know, and I was thinking that if we build the first one with the wood... That would probably get it done right there. Now the real question is, is where do we put it? You know, do I put it over here in the middle or do I put it over here by the, uh, by the housing? Because, yeah, technically that would, that would allow the, uh, all the housed beavers over here to be to be happy but then again if i put it over here this is where most of the work traffic goes to though yeah you know what i'm gonna put it right here i'm gonna do that and then i think we're gonna have to run a path over there to it so we're gonna have to do one of these things right here So, but that's okay. We'll let that go. They'll knock that out. It should be great. Beaver is stranded. Hold on. How did we get stranded beavers? Where? How? Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How did y'all... Seriously? Y'all are special. That's all I'm going to say is you beavers are special. You knew better than to go back there. 
Like, I don't even know why they would go back there. No, he's going to do it again. Why? Why are they just chilling back there? Like, okay, if y'all get stuck again because y'all are being dumb. You know what? I wonder if I put a district gate right here, if that would stop it. Nope, it does not stop it. They, they just want to go hang out back there. They're going to get trapped again, and I'm going to laugh at them because I'm not going to save them this time. <sighs> I, I, I don't even know. Yeah, just get a whole bunch of y'all back there so that I can trap y'all. That'd be perfect. I'm not doing it. Don't go back there. He's a dead beaver. He's a dead beaver. I'm not even... I don't even know. Yeah. I mean, I could have built a block right there to stop him, but that's doing too much. They shouldn't be hanging out back there. They should know better than to do that. They should know better. The fact that they don't. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing. All right, we got 1.2 days left in the dry cycle, the dry season, the drought, and then we'll be back on to, uh, to the wet season. So what I think I'm going to do is... I don't know, do, I, do we want to pause it for a minute? I think we're going to pause it for the next day, let them finish out the uh, the build over here, and then go from there. So, y'all give me just a second here. Okay, guys, so we've got the thing filled up. It is day one. Let's go ahead and get in the three more... Uh, the three more wheels real fast. So before we do that, though, I do want to put this on there. I do want to raise the priority of that guy. Uh, I am going to put a splitter on that one just because I like using the splitters. We're going to do that. And then we're going to put in three of these. Now, like I said, I haven't decided on whether or not we need to remove these dams. So y'all let me know your opinions. Do you think the dams are a good thing or a bad thing in this situation? So, should I remove them? And if I do remove them, leave them completely gone? Or bring them out here and put them down on the end? Because remember, I do plan on bringing this out further. So, is this going to be a build, replace, build, replace deal? Or, like, what are we going to be doing here? So, y'all help me out here on this one and let me know. Alright, so we've got our power. It's coming in. And it stopped. And it's going again. So. And it stopped again. Why does it keep stopping and going? I don't understand. Like once it's flow. Like once it fills up and goes. Should it not just keep going? Like I don't understand the whole stop, go, stop, go, stop, go thing. Like what's. What is making it stop and go? That's what I don't understand here. Is it, is it the, it has to be the dam, right? That's the only thing I could think of is it's the dam. But then again, like I've never, I've never seen like when you fill up a sink and it overflows, it doesn't stop overflowing for a second and then continues. It just keeps overflowing. So if that source water never stops, never slows, never fluctuates, I don't understand why it's why it's doing what it's doing. So, but, I mean, something weird is happening here. I don't know exactly what, but, yeah, something something is going on. Uh, the good news is, is that it does seem like we're producing, well, at least we were producing more power a minute ago. Now I'm kind of curious is it because of the the blocks underneath is that the reason why like i don't even know like okay hold on 
We're over here messing with the wrong thing, guys. I don't care about that other stuff right now. Y'all get on this. That should have been done like two weeks ago. Y'all are slow. <laughs> slow beavers. Get your priorities straight, beavers, or I'll do it for you. I just want to get my grill, my grist mills going good. So, get all three of them going, and maybe we can get something, get something going here. Let me guess. Oh no, we're not out of wood yet. We're getting close, but we're not out yet. Come on, let's get these, get these other wheels built. So, I mean, we are averaging a higher horsepower. It has to be the, the, the blocks. I, I think I have to fill that in. Maybe, maybe it's because we don't have it filled in. Come on, beavers. Like, we have all the blocks right here. Like, what is... Oh, because we don't have enough... Okay, hold on. We must have had beavers die. Hold on. Let me migrate some... Let me migrate, like, ten beavers over there. I was like, why are we not getting stuff built? Man, now I know why we're not getting it built. Um, you need to be set to... Yeah, grilled potatoes. Grill some potatoes, please. All right. How are we doing? 16, so we're doing 40 something. Now it seems like our flow's maintaining a little bit better. Okay, we got another one in. How's this wheel doing? Hold on. 13 versus 10. They both slowed down. So, did that wheel slow these down? Yeah, I was kind of thinking that these were going to be up in the 20s again. But it's not. I mean, don't get me wrong. 15, 16 is not bad, but the last one was hitting like 28 on the last season. Either way, we're making more power. So, I mean, we did something right. So, I think what I'm going to do now that we've got that, I think we're going to go ahead and fill in some more of these blocks back here. I think I think that's part of the problem. Is that we only have the one set of blocks. I'm going to try to see if we can't... Fill that in a little bit, and we'll see if that might help the situation with it. So if I can get that filled in, we'll see what happens, because that will fill this up, go here, and then it'll turn, and then as it turns, it should go a little bit quicker, or at least that's what I'm hoping. So, yeah, because we're averaging around right about 85, 80, yeah, somewhere around there, 70 to 90. I think is where we're going to average on our power. So a little bit shorter than what I thought, but yeah, it is a thing. But anyway, it's better than what we originally had, so I'm all right with it. All right, guys. Well, I think that's probably about it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, 
and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And you guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.